In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at machining a 3D relief file within ArtCam Express. This can also be done within ArtCam Insignia. The file we're going to take a look at will be this crest.art file. So we're going to select that to open it and then maximize within our view. If we switch over to the 3D view, we can see our relief file has already been placed into place for us. If we turn on the machine relief within the 3D view and the second one, we we'll see our toolpaths again have already been created for us. If we were to select the simulate all toolpath, it would firstly give us an accurate simulation of the first toolpath, the end mill toolpath, and then finally the ball nose toolpath. This will show us exactly what the design will look like as it comes off the machine. Once this has been done, we could then save the toolpaths out. In this case, we're going to delete the toolpaths, reset the simulation block, and then create the toolpath for ourselves. As you can see here, if I just change the shading set to wood, if we were to machine this piece out of a block of wood, this would be an accurate simula simulation of what it would look like. So if we just delete the two toolpaths for now and reset the simulation block, we're now going to create our own toolpaths. As this is a 3D model, we're going to use one of the 3D toolpaths. The only toolpath which is available in ArtCam Express is Machine Relief. In ArtCam Insignia, you have Machine Relief and Feature Machining. So with the Machine Relief tool, we're going to go to the 2D view and select the rectangle. And we're going to machine only within the selected vector. We're going to leave an allowance which will enable us to go in with the ball nose afterwards. And we're going to select a 10 millimeter end mill tool. If we select the down arrow we can change any of the speeds, feeds and settings. For instance the 10 mil end mill tool, I'm going to change my step over to 6 millimeters. I'm going to leave the rest of the figures as they are. I'm going to select the up arrow just to minimize so it all fits within my one screen. If I come across to the 3D view and set my material up, which will be my 25 millimeter material, I'm going to change the position of the model to the top of the block. And as we can see here, Z0 is at the top of the block, the material is sitting nice and high, and we're going to do multiple Z passes, because we don't want our tool to go in and just do this in one cut, we want to do it in multiple cuts. As Z0 is the top of the block, anything below this will be negative, so we're going to put minus 3 in for the first pass, so we'll cut into the material minus 3, and then it will go down in its steps of 6, and I'm going to go down to minus 19. I'm going to call this roughing and calculate. So we can see it's doing multiple steps with this roughing tool. We're going to close this and select simulate. So we see the variation between the pre-save toolpath and this new toolpath. The new toolpath has been done within a selected vector, which for your machining purposes you may want to do because you may have some kind of block holding these into place. Now we're going to move on and do the finishing toolpath. Do the finishing toolpath, going to come back to the 2D view and select this vector here. If we just turn on the preview relief layer, we can see the 3D model lies 
within this vector that we've created. We're going to do exactly the same settings by using that machine relief tool, selected vector, and we're now going to select a 3mm ball nose tool. Nice small tool to finish this model off. We don't need to do multiple Z passes as the majority of the material has been cleaned away for us. I'm going to label this finishing and calculate this now. Come across to the 3D view. See our toolpath has been created and we just need to simulate this. You can see we have our finished design. All we need to do now is to save the toolpaths out. We're going to send the finishing tool back and save the roughing tool to our desktop. We're going to call this roughing. And we're going to send the roughing toolpath back and save our finishing as finishing. And we have our toolpaths all saved for us, ready to send to our machine. So as you can see from this demonstration, how easily we can work with 3D models and 3D relief files and machine them using ArcCam Express and ArcCam Insignia and save the files out to your machine.